hello everyone so today i want to share with you this quick time saving recipe okay how you can freeze your meat pie for later okay and it's amazing it's so so good okay so join me and i'll show you how i make this recipe So we start by making the dough okay so i have some flour and i've added some garlic salt and a little bit of garlic and here i'm adding ground maize okay so ground maize is um just like nutmeg right okay so yeah so you can you can use nutmeg instead okay so yeah here i'm going in with my onion okay so i didn't want to blend anything that's why um you saw me using this um yeah dry ingredients so yeah i grated some onion and i mixed everything together and then my butter will go in okay so when you am um, making this and you add a little if you decide to add some garlic salt okay or any salt just make sure that your butter hasn't got salt in it otherwise omit the salt and then use your butter else your meat pie will be too salty okay and also you have to think about your filling okay so if your filling too is salty then make sure that you don't put any salt in your dough okay otherwise your meat pie will be again too salty right okay so here i decided to add use milk to bring the dough together after mixing the butter with the flour okay so um normally i would add um dry milk powder but then um, i didn't have some so I use milk to bring it together so that my dough is nice and rich okay so um I just I don't know why I wrapped it but I think I wrapped it because I was going to make the filling but today I'm not going to show you how um, I make the I made the filling okay so I put it in the fridge for it to rest as I make the filling as mentioned earlier on and I'm now ready to roll and then put everything together okay so i was just thinking a, a little bit about you uh, know the meat pie the dough the richness of the dough and the richness of the film and i realized that you know nothing compensates for nothing in this recipe for your meat pie to be je to be top notch what you say i just said the dough or the crust needs to be amazing and the filling needs to be amazing if you want an amazing filling check out um the description below and i'll link in or i'll link it up here for you my meat pie fillings okay so here it's just rolling and then you know cutting so here i have this sandwich cutter and i thought to use the sandwich cutter to make this pie I was, it was christmas time and i was making little little uh, meat pies for my um party bags okay party favors so i tried to make it very little so that's how come my um i was using the sandwich cutter because it makes your meat pie little because it's little anyway so here just filling good old way of making your meat pie right you just fill it and here i'm just showing you how i use the cutter so that if you come across you know this sandwich cutter you can yeah, just get one for yourself it's really handy it makes your pie look looks nice if you're making sandwich too it makes the sandwich looks nice for the kids so you can try that as well okay so so the purpose of this recipe is for you to make especially maybe for commercial purposes or anything maybe you making some pies for a party or for anything um it's for you to be able to make this in advance okay and save it or store it in the freezer so whenever you are ready to bake it right you just pop it in your oven and it's ready to go trust me it takes nothing away from the freshness or the tastes or the anything of this of your meat pie okay meat pie it's not because you didn't freeze it what else there and for your meat pie to be nice as i mentioned your dough needs to be jet if you want jet meat pie do or chair meat pie crust i have the recipe on this channel too okay it needs to be chair otherwise charlie it doesn't 
matter how you make it look and yet what i said and also um so here i'm just going to pop it in the freezer bag so you need to date it so that you know that your meat pie has not stayed in your freezer for thousand years charlie like sometimes you me the new machine you fridge you not freezer no near fridge i mean freezer okay so here let me make a point so on the kusun where we do for this meat pie where we use the fork to perforate it to release the air for every meat pie that we make you know okay so here you can do it here or you can just freeze it later on when you're about to um sort of bake it and then you you can put it in but then you say but it will be too hard because it's frozen i'll show you how you make it okay so you make this in advance you pop it in your freezer when you are ready and then you bring it out okay and make sure that when you are putting it in the freezer you put it somewhere that is very flat otherwise it will all squish because it's soft right so it's been like i don't know over i made this third as you saw third december and i baked it sometime mid january just about yeah mid january or early january that i baked this okay so what you do is you put it on your baking tray and then you pop it in a freezer okay sorry you pop it in the oven and then like five minutes into the baking you bring it out and if if you haven't perforated it you perforate it and then you egg wash it with your milk aha uh -huh, you see and then you pop it back into the oven and there it is very easy very very easy but very convenient and as i said doesn't take anything away from it you saw the bottom of the pie it's nice and golden brown and look at look at that when you break it it's just delicious amazing the crust is incredible you love this okay and so as i was saying you meet by nyeda nyeda but it doesn't matter what you do to it it's good so there you go so i hope you enjoyed this recipe i hope you give it a try if you're someone and you love meat pie, you can just make this in advance and keep it there for whenever you need it. Okay, so there you go. Thank you for joining me. Thank you um, for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.